Microsoft Publisher gives you easy ways to work with backgrounds. So over here you can see that in the page design, uh, here we have an option to apply backgrounds. So when you select this, you can see that you can fill it up with a solid color, just like this, and the background is filled up with the solid color. You can even go over here to the gradient design right here so that you have a gradient like background, which is uh, horizontal or vertical as you can see right here. You can also go over here and go for more background options and then uh, choose the background style manually. So you can go for a solid fill right here. You can choose for different colors just like this. Press OK and you can choose the color that you want. You can also go over here, go for different options like a gradient fill and choose the color over here. So you can choose for something like a path gradient. You can choose for different type of gradients right here. And you can also select the color of your choice right there. So you have a gradient of your choice in the position and press OK. And there you go. You got a gradient. Uh, you can also go for more background options right here. Also go for a picture so you can actually select a file and then set it up as a background right there, which you're going to see in a while. Uh, so we're going to go into pattern fill and you can see that the color that I chose turns into pattern now. If I were, were to press OK, there you go. You see the pattern background. You can also go over here, go to more backgrounds right here and choose a picture. So you can go to file and then select the picture that you want to add as a background. So I'm going to go into my YouTube folder, into my pictures. I'm going to select this, press OK. And there you go. You can see that the picture has been set as background right there. Another thing you can do is you can also import picture and set it up as a background itself. So you can go to insert right here, go to picture. I'm going to select uh, this picture right here so I can resize it. Let me just resize the picture over here and I can apply effects onto this as well. So I'm going to move it uh, to the side onto the scratch area just like that. Let me just zoom out a bit just like that. All right. So zoom out over here. I can apply. So I'm going to add in some corrections to this. For example, I'm going to wash this out a bit and I'm going to recolor this as well uh, to something like this, something like a blue color. So what I can do now is I can go to paste design and I can select this image as you can see. So the image is selected. I can go to apply image right here and fill it out. If I were to fill it out, you can see that now the same effect has been applied and it, and it has been uh, changed into the background itself. And right now I just chose fill. So it is filling up the whole canvas with the selected image. I can also go to tile right here. And if I were to select tile, I can see that the tiling image actually appears. So if I were to zoom in, you can see that this is a tiled image now instead of a regular image. So let me just go over here. Let me just zoom it in and tile it around. So I'm going to go over here, apply image, tile, and the tile effect is there. But it is not that clear. So I'm just going to go into my background options right here into more background section. And here I've used it as a picture or textured fill, as you can see, or pattern fill right here, tile picture offset. So you can set, set everything out over here. So the type of tiles that you want to use, or maybe the texture that you want to use just like that, press OK. And the texture has been applied just like that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to apply this as a tiled image. So if I were to do that, you can see that uh, the whole image is being used. But right now you cannot see the tile itself very clearly because uh, the image is too large. So I'm going to insert a smaller image right here from the pictures. Uh, for example, this one right here, it's not very large. And if I were to select this and tile it, for example, I'm going to go into uh, my page design and go into apply image and tile. You can see that that has been repeated right there. So that is how you can use tile image uh, right there as well. So that is the, those are the background options you can work with in Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.